Polls in France have just closed. Emmanuel Macron's En Marche party are in a tight race with Marine Le Pen's uh, populist far-right national rally. So let's go straight to Paris then, where we join uh, Lisa Lewis. She's at the headquarters of Macron's En Marche party. Welcome, Lisa. Uh, what are people saying or how are they reacting? Well, we have the results here. They're actually counting down now. Uh, but we already know, actually, that the national rally is coming out first, so we will see their reaction in just a few seconds. Just bear with me. It's... There you go. The Renaissance Alliance, which includes LREM, President Macron's movement, is not coming out first, but these people here are still happy about the results. Let me just give them to you. So it's 23.2% uh, for the National Rally, the far-right party, and 21.9% for Alliance. Uh, people here have been telling me that, nevertheless, even if they came second, which is now the case, they would be happy anyways. The first time that the Macron's party has participated in the European elections, and also they're very happy that so many people have participated in these elections, apparently 52%, that's about 10% more uh, than five years ago, and they, they, they say this is a really good thing because we are a European party. Europe is part of our DNA, so we're really happy, nevertheless. So as clearly, uh, yes, well, as you can hear, clearly a good result there for the, the national uh, rally. Uh, how much of an improvement is this for them? It's, it's very good result for the national rally, obviously, but it's if this, these results, these first exit polls are confirmed, uh, then it's below what they had five years ago. They can say we came up, uh, came out first, we uh, won these European elections, but the question is obviously what will they do with it? This shouldn't have a large impact here on a national level. President Macron is still the president of France. This was a European election, not a national election. And on a European European level, it remains to be seen if the far-right national rally will be able to form a stable alliance with all the other far-right movements across Europe and if they will have enough force to really influence European matters. And just to be absolutely clear, Lisa, very briefly, we're talking about exit poll results there, yes? Absolutely. The definite uh, results will only come out at about 20, 20, uh, 22, 30 or uh, 11 o'clock at night. Uh, we'll get to reaction in just a, a sec, uh, Lisa, but uh, talk us through the, the rest of the figures if you have them. Well, there are different exit polls that have come out. So they put the far-right national rally ahead with about 23 to 24.2 points. And next comes uh, the Renaissance, which is the alliance, including uh, Emmanuel Mac President Macron's party, LREM, at about uh, 22.9 20, until 23 um, points. And third is uh, the Greek party, which is a huge surprise. The Greek party was supposed to come third or fourth, uh, but it has actually won uh, more than 12% of the vote, which is quite astonishing here in France. OK, so uh, Green's doing well in Germany and in France uh, at this stage. And how are people uh, there uh, at uh, Emmanuel Macron's uh, party headquarters, how are they reacting to these results? Well, when the first exit polls were published just a few minutes ago, they were cheering, they were really happy, and the people I talked to beforehand said, well, we came second, but we're still happy because we won more than 20% of the vote. Uh, it's our first... Uh, according to exit polls, obviously, it's our first European election. This means uh, people confirm that they want us as a government and also that they're pro-European in a way and also very happy about the high turnout, which is estimated to be at about 52%. That's 10% higher than only five years ago. And they say this is a really good news for us because Europe is part of our DNA, so we're really happy about this, although we came second. Uh, the um, uh, right wing, the far right uh, um, uh, national uh, rally then, doing well, but not as well as they've done before with that 23.2% uh, uh, projection. 
absolutely the projections say that they will not reach the result from five years ago. They still came, will probably come first as they did five years ago, but they were hoping for a bigger win to show that uh, people are really withdrawing their support from, from President Emmanuel Macron. They have a program that is not saying we want to leave the European Union or we want to leave the euro, but it, it's very, very Eurosceptic. And actually, when reading it, you wonder how they want to do all these things while staying in the European Union. So they were hoping for more support for that and uh, to push through their agenda on a European level. All right. Uh, Lisa Lewis in Paris for now. Thank you so much.